little update on some things. I'm working on this. It's made in of wood, and you can open it up. And there is where all this is going to be like. I have a weird idea. Like I, I have to power it with multiple things, and use a sampler essentially. But I'm ripping out the input, so this is what I call a base thing, and I'm sampling, um, my my base. So one of my bases. So this is just like a base, like a do-it-yourself base little keyboard thing. And I have, I'm gonna set it to where it's like, this is E, like you'd have an open low string. And it'd be like E, F, F sharp, D, and so on. But um, yeah, I'm not done with artwork or anything like that, but this is gonna be like a little miniature sampled bass guitar keyboard. This is how my samplers go in so far. My four channel sampler. These are your playback buttons. These are what I'm going to put as your record buttons. I got it color coordinated. And then further up here, there will be four pitch knobs. And as you can see, I haven't done much to my reverb uh, tank because the issue I'm having is the spring. I want it to go to about like right there. So I need a, which I think I found the solution. This is why it's taking me so long because it's like I could hot glue like paper clips and make a paper clip thing, but I'm thinking about putting little do-it-yourself like bathroom sticky hooks on there, and having a rubber band on each side, then have a band of paper clips so it's more taut, and the springs don't have to stretch out as much. And I just honestly I keep forgetting to buy the hooks even though they're like four dollars, but it's like. And I get more than what I even need buying them. So it's like, I don't know. It's just taking me some time. That's about all for my uh, non-pedal stuff. But uh, I want to talk about this pedal. And this pedal, it looks like a one-knob fuzz or something. And I use this one all the time. This is one of my most used pedals. Um, I used it on... Uh, time loop. I used that, and one of my first pedals I built was is that. This is just a little one knob echo. But this right here I made from an Artec QDD, and it's a quad distortion thing, and it's cool for synths. Also, like I don't use it that much for that. I also have a course built out of an Artec thing. And I have um, a tone expander and a band filter kind of... I haven't put the band filter in a pedal yet. And the tone expander is going to be a tone knob to something else that I'm working on. Essentially a better version of this. But I like the way this pedal... It's just sanded. And then I put a temporary tattoo over it. And I think it looks really... It's really clean how I designed it. Where I put the knob and the LED. It's just really nice looking. But what this pedal is, is when you have it all the way to the bottom, like that, that's in bypass, where this, I don't know if you can see the pointer since it's all chrome, but that's all bypass. Sorry, my hands are dirty. I work in the oil industry. It's going to happen. That's a boost. That's a blues drive. It's a five-way rotary switch. Rock drive, metal. So you got different gain switches here. You can't really control your gain in a normal way where you'd have like, you know, a knob to gain. Like, I mean, there's a trim pot in the pedal. I'm not going to open it up and show you that I could add an external knob to. But uh, this is one of my earlier pedals too. And ironically, like I still use this one. I kind of, like I said, this is my first one. I'm making like a smaller version of this because I just think this is a little, it's a little too much. But uh, as far as size goes... Yeah, this is cool. I mean, it's really loud. That's like my only drawback. I wish I would have added like a volume knob after it. But, um... Oh, yeah. Like, this is just one of my favorite pedals. And I'm making another one. It's not like... It, it's for a friend who saw this and was like, that's really cool. So I'm making another pedal version of this. And then I'm making another, another one where I add like tone knobs and volumes and kind of expand upon... The original circuit but yeah that's kind of an update 
Um, I'm working on what was originally going to be like, like this was going to be in a lunchbox, but I bought this wood box and I think it looks kind of classier this way. Um, so the lunchbox, I got the thing drilled, but it's going to be like a synth. I'm working on the lunchbox synth and I'm going to build it like I built, like, okay, so I made this synth and I put it in a tin. Oh, batteries must be dead. Um, but yeah, so I'm building this and I'm putting that, this in the white lunch box, but on the output, it's going to go through this delay circuit and this, cause I have more and they can all run off the same power supply. So it's going to be a synth with a built in reverb and delay. And I wasn't going to say who I was building it for, but, um, it's definitely for warm synths. <laughs> um, warm synths is getting, um, a synth and then I'm building one maybe not the exact same one for controlled randomness but uh I'm gonna build him a synth too it might be in a wooden box because I have three of these ones these kind of boxes which this is pit guard material like I, I, I cut a hole I'm gonna put that there and like it just makes wiring easier same thing with this this will come out Oop. That hole's not as clean as the other. It turns out wood splinters. That's uh, what I'm working on and what's delayed and why it's delayed, like this reverb here. But uh, it's happening still. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's just, I kind of just go through phases where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do this. And then I just kind of stop. But uh, everything I said I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. And you will see videos about it.